so it's just gone 5 a.m. 5:30. I'm getting up very early today, so I can get to the Taj Mahal before the sun rises. Apparently, it's the time to be. So give me about half an hour or so. We'll go check it out. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the line. Yeah. Should go through pretty quickly though, to be fair. Oh. Uh, yeah, they've cleared out the whole front. Oh. And now it's loaded with people. Lovely. And this is what happens at the sunrise. Crowds, crowds, crowds of people. Even now that I'm here, it looks like the postcard. It doesn't even, it still doesn't look like real. It's no wonder they made it a wonder. That's incredible. Oh wow. Oh, so we're just going to enter the mausoleum. So it was built in the 17th century by one of the sult four, the one of the sultan's uh, favorite wives. His wife had 14 kids before she passed, and then eventually he uh, he joined her in the mausoleum when he passed. And now it's become this tourist trap. Oy, oy, oy. Oh wow! Is that photo allowed inside? It looks incredible. The closer we get. You got the four minarets surrounding it. And that is a huge crowd that we've managed to beat, luckily. We got here early enough. Ready, in we go. Jesus. When they all come, bloody hell. Oh, so, fun fact, his favourite wife was 38 years old when she passed. 14 kids she had by that point. So I know I'm a guy and can't really comment on it, but she was pregnant for a third of her life. That's a scary thought, and I'm not even a woman. And only tourists getting a bit stared at. All that sort of stuff was a bit like, ooh. Yeah, I'm still recovering in Accra. Last two days have been great. Last day here. Oh, and then I'm off to Jaipur tomorrow. We're just going for a wander. She won't find. Accra is very much a nice, nice city. I actually like Accra. Definitely a lot less hectic than New Delhi. A bit more tourist trappy, but even then, not really, to be honest. It's a very enjoyable place. Make my way to the red, not the red fort. Agra Fort today and that'll be it for Agra. Also got to love the fact that there is monkeys everywhere. <laughs> All over the place. Okay, <laughs> we finally made it. Got our tickets. Need to make our way in. It's a bit more elaborate than the Red Fort, I'll admit. Very hot today though, it's getting up to 38 degrees. Oh. Now we're gonna make our way in there. 
Once the line has shrunk slightly. I think I'm having to push my way in at the moment. Oh. A crowded mess, but you know, <laughs> we got through that. Now we're on the way in. is significantly smaller than the red Ford, but it's a bit more to it I think in a way. So this one was built again in the 16th century and was the home to all of, was the only fort home to all of the Michael um, leaders. So that's pretty interesting. Again it's got a similar thing over there like the, like the red fort. He's also got a uh, strange shape compared to the others, a bit of a semicircle. This marble is over 450 years old and it looks almost brand new. It looks so beautiful and surprisingly cool in the shade. There you go, a pretty perfect view of the Taj Mahal from here. Looks so small from here. It's also weird from this angle. It's rough with even. Like, this is all carved out of marble. That's insane. Imagine one mistake and this whole thing would have shattered. is back into the the redstone style so I think the marble is actually relatively new because it used to be made of this redstone as well I just love the, the carving of the stones is just so immaculate it's so incredible oh, and then just the view of the Taj Mahal from here it's just great Somehow made my way from there to there. I think that means I've covered everything just about. Maybe I'll head back in there and see if there's anything more on the left side. Okay, and that there is apparently a giant bathtub. Who would have thought it? <laughs> it's a small little fort, but I could totally. I could imagine living here. That would be very cool. Got a beautiful red fort style here, some marble one on the other side, the main one on there. And the entrance is down there. Look at all. So small. And there's gonna be so many screw shots my entire time in India. I think it's safe to say I have covered pretty much every corner of this fort this time. So, last bit is I have a look in there. Just can't access that back area at the moment. And then we'll finish up here. This is my last place in Agra that I'm going to visit. Again, just having the festival, the Taj Mahal, and this fort, it was great. There's not a lot to do here, but that was, it was it's a good mix. Tomorrow, I'm off to Jaipur. So it's about a four hour train ride from here. Leaving at about uh, two in the afternoon, roughly. Then I'm staying at the same hostel in Jaipur. And then I've got four days in Jaipur before I'm actually gonna be heading back to New Delhi. So we'll see where we can go from there.